Parent Entrepreneur Power, conversation number 213. Parent Entrepreneur Power. Um, wait, what? It's <laughs> a <laughs> power. <laughs> this is the podcast for parents juggling the tough choices required for success in business while putting family first. Hi, I'm Mary Catherine Johnson, and I share the ups and downs and dirty truths of profits and potty training while chatting with successful parent entrepreneurs from all walks of life. Are you powered up? Hey there, Power Parents. Welcome to the conversation. Welcome to Parent Entrepreneur Power. This is a conversation we have, you and I, and all of us in this group of parents trying to build successful families and businesses. And I welcome you to this conversation because I truly hope, given our amazing social media world, that we have a conversation. Um, I have had the privilege of speaking with many, many of the people who listen to this podcast and are uh, in this world of trying to build successful families and successful businesses. So welcome to the conversation. All right. So I am now in, oh, this is um, what the fourth, I believe, uh, in this series of basically the 10 steps to success with business and parenting. It's the Power Parents in Business series. And uh, yeah, let's go one, two, three. Yep, this is number four. Um, I have a bunch of notes and I have basically written all these down. And uh, you know, I gotta tell you, last week we talked about um, mastering your productivity in order to get rid of some of those bad time habits, bad productivity, productivity habits, so you can master your profit. All right. That was all that that was not specifically business related, right? So I didn't talk about, you know, do post on social media five times a week or, or blog a certain number of times or take your content and repurpose it. Okay. We're not talking about those kinds of things. I spent last week, I'm going to spend this week, next week, and the following week, all of those, we're talking four weeks and I'm going to spend them on your mindset. Because if there's one thing I've learned, the number one thing I've learned is that your success starts with you. Not what you know, but what you do and how you talk to yourself and how you figure out uh, this whole world around you. So if you're one of those people that's just like, all right, Mary, you're doing woo woo crap. You just, you know, that, that you lost me. I, I, my mindset's fine. I get up every day. I work my, you know what off, uh, my mindset's fine. I know I'm going to be successful. I'm done. You know, this is, this is BS. I am here to tell you bye-bye. I have no problem with you going and listening to some other podcast or other episode that will give you what you need. But I'm telling you right now, I've gone to two conferences this month. Okay, we're talking March 2018. And both of them, uh, the people that were the most successful didn't specifically teach me business skills. They taught me mindset skills. All right. And every step along the way, we were, okay, two people that impacted me the most. Um, one, his name is Alex Charfin. And I'm sorry if I'm not pronouncing that right, but it's C H A R F as in Frank E N. And he has the billionaire code. Okay. So I'm, I'm not dealing with billionaire. I'm starting with, you know, high six figures, <laughs> right? That's my first goal. Then we'll go to millionaire. Then we'll go to billionaire if I live that long. All right. So see that right there was a, a mindset slip, right? If I live that long, I'm giving myself an excuse. Got to slap myself across the face and stop that. Um, who knows how far I'll go as far as I want. And the same goes with you. So Alex Charfin did an amazing job talking about mindset and talking about what stage you are in in your business and what you need to go to the next stage. The next person I'm sure you know is Tony Robbins. And I actually had the privilege of seeing him in person and attending uh, his talk. Uh, and I wouldn't talk, I wouldn't call it a talk, let me tell you. It, it is an, an event. 
And specifically the thing he discussed was mindset. It really is all around you and the patterns you have in your head. All right. So I've taken about five minutes of this time, uh, possibly uh, getting close to that, to just introduce the fact that that's what I'm going to talk about. So let's dive into it. And if you don't believe me that it's mindset, go watch a Tony Robbins video. Go listen to a Tony Robbins audio. Um, read one of his blog posts. It, whatever. Find uh, Consume content from Tony Robbins and you will see very clearly that it's all about mindset. Okay. So the thing I'm going to tackle today in your mindset is your morning routine. Now we talked yesterday or last week about the power morning, P-O-W-E-R, right? That's, I'm going to, I'm not going to go over that again, but I am going to talk about your morning routine and how you can adjust it for productivity. So last week and this week are basically connected. We talked about how to start with your morning and you have to adapt that. Okay, power parents, you really have to adapt it. It doesn't stay the same, at least not for me. I'm not a routine kind of person. I'm just not. Um, anytime I get into a routine, I almost personally sabotage that routine so that I can change it. It's just, I'm crazy that way. So I constantly have to adapt and figure out a new way to do the things that I need to do to get my mindset in the place that I need it. So we talked about the power morning routine. Now, the thing that doesn't change in my routine is I always write down those three things I must do. That's what we talked about last week and we ended with. What are the three things you must do today that will get you closer to your goal? Baby, baby steps. And I'm going to go through a little bit of a detail as to what I mean with that. But in terms of your morning routine, you know, I don't know if you meditate. I don't know if you pray. I don't know if you just have calm time. Um, whatever that is for you, you need to maximize that time and continue to grow with that time. So if you're not making progress in your own mindset, then that particular morning, that particular part of your morning routine is not really working. Okay. So you should have moments of clarity, moments of breakthrough. Otherwise, it's just a routine and it's not making any difference in your actual life. So let me reference Tony Robbins. And that's what I mean. Um, one of the things he talked about is um, people say, you know, gosh, I've in order to change my smoking habit or change my weight loss habit or, or grow to the next level in my business, it took me 10 years, it took me 15 years, whatever that might be. Actually, it happened in a moment. And it took you 10 years to have yourself ready for that moment of change. Every single day, every single moment, we make choices. And there will be, if you allow it, there will be a moment when something shifts in your thought process, in your activity, whatever it might be, there will be a moment. It may take you three years to get to that moment before you can make that shift. But whenever that shift happens, you, my friend, will know it. You will feel it. You will see it. Your world will be different. The colors will be brighter. All right. I'm not going to start preaching. All right. But you know what I mean? Because if you're here, you've had it happen before. You, if you're listening to podcasts, you're trying to better your life. You have had moments like this. So they didn't, it didn't take 10 years for that to happen. It took you 10 years to get to the place when you could have that moment and you can see it. So through your morning routine, through your mindset shifts that you're trying to create in your life, through the productivity you're trying to accomplish throughout the day, there you need to adapt and make sure that you're constantly adapting and changing, not just staying in the routine. So let's look at the day, for instance, okay, um, when my kids were younger, and that's what we're talking about, right? When my kids were younger, I would, my morning routine was very different from what it is now, because now my kids are pretty much independent, all right? My 16-year-old, I still kind of make him breakfast or lunch sometimes, depending on what's going on, if he's in school or not in school. My 19-year-old, I might make him breakfast if I know he's home, um, but uh, but 
and my husband, of course, you know, he's up and going to work before I am, um, especially during tax season. So I'm not usually making him anything or doing anything for him until dinner time, um, except giving him a kiss. Good morning. When he gets out of bed at four 30 and uh, I roll back over and go to sleep. <laughs> um, so in that sense, I have a specific schedule that I need to keep. But when my kids were younger, you know, you have a very specific schedule you need to keep. If you have them in daycare, then you know you have to get up at a certain time. You have to get yourself ready at a certain time. You have to get them ready at a certain time. So in that sense, if you're not getting up and starting your day with purpose, you're missing an opportunity for change. You're missing an opportunity for a moment a changing moment in your life. Something in order for you to get to the next level, something needs to change and it needs to feel broken enough that you will take the actions to make it change. So these morning routines are not just to get in a, um, a set of, uh, actions that feel comfortable that um, gets you in a mindset where you're in OM. Okay, that's not what I'm talking about. That state, that meditative state, is the state you want to get into so that you can tap into the next level that you need to attain. It's not to tap into that level to just find peace. Okay. Yes, we want peace. And yes, I do find peace. But in that peace and clarity comes my next step. You know what I'm talking about, right? If you meditate, I've had this happen uh, a few times, okay? I am not so good at this whole process that every single day I get a breakthrough. Definitely, absolutely not. But I have had those times when I have been in, this routine has been, at the exact moment when change needs to happen in my life and I get instant clarity, but I can't get that clarity when all the clutter is going on in my head, when my body is not feeling at its peak, when my nutrition, when my energy level is not feeling at its peak, when those things align your power I'm telling you, power parents, your power is unstoppable. And please, I'm here to make sure you know that is not going to happen every single day. If you have that state where your meditative state gets you clarity, where your energy is right on point, where your exercise and your body, your physical body is in tune, and all of those things are aligned so that every single day you are finding clarity and jumping to the next level and having that moment when life changes for you, please give me a call please email me mkj at messengerfunnels.com. Email me because I want to tap your brain. I want to talk to you, invite you on this program to talk to us about how you make that happen every single day. Most of us humans don't. We fall back into other patterns. We might reach that state in one moment, but then we fall back into other patterns the next day because we are habitual creatures. Okay. So I get it. That's that, I'm here to tell you that's normal for me. I might go weeks of trying to get into that state and not have a breakthrough. I might go months uh, because I might stop meditating for a while because something breaks my routine. And of course, as I've already told you, I don't, I strive to not have a routine. I'm nuts that way. I'm telling you. But anyway, something happens where I don't allow myself that growth. And it really is a choice. And I choose to allow myself to not do that, uh, not get into that meditative state, not meditate every day, not exercise every day, not um, have the energy level and food intake that I need every day. I'm getting better and better and better. That's what life to me is about. That's the purpose of life, to become the best human being possible, to give of myself. And the only way I can give of myself is to be that best human being. And then I can give to others because ultimately that's, that's what we're here to do. We're here to help others in their journey. We're here to have the best journey ourselves and in that be an example and also a guiding light for others to have their best journeys. So your morning routine. We talked about peace, openness, the who, what, and why, the exercise, and the reading. There's a reason they are power morning routines. And if you can get, excuse me, 
when you can get each of those stages in the in alignment with each other, magic happens. And as each day, especially with children, you know this, our children adapt and grow every, that's their job. They grow and change every day. So we as parents have to adapt to that growth and change. Nothing stays the same. You might have one of your, if you have more than one child, you might have one of your children at one particular state and then the other is like totally moving forward and changing and growing and going into puberty. And that throws the whole family off, right? I mean, we, it's like trying to um, pin down a two-year-old after Halloween night. That's basically what this is like. You're trying to take a two-year-old that has just consumed a huge amount of sugar and try and get them pinned down and calmed down for bed. It, do, it just doesn't work. It, it's not, you can't force it. You have to ride it. And as you're riding it, you have to adapt and grow and change. So your morning routine is like that. And believe me, now that I'm on the other side of it, I can tell you it will change. It will get better. It, it, uh, it will get better. I promise you. And then you're going to be stuck with no excuses, my friends, no excuses as to why you can't have the exact morning routine you want. And you can't have that daily focus of movement forward. And I'm telling you, that's probably, I'm, I'm just going to say it straight. That's probably one of the reasons why in uh, January of 2017, January and February of 2017, my business exploded. And it's because I no longer have to split my energy. I, I'm, I'm just going to tell you that. Um, my energy, and that was my choice, was split because my purpose was to raise my children and I didn't want to send them to daycare and I didn't want to go get a job. And I was lucky enough, absolutely blessed enough to have a husband who could allow me to do that, who could provide for the family so that I could do that and I could stay home and take care of my children. And I was also trying to build a business at the, other, at the same time. So no matter what, my, my energies were split. So I, I'm here to tell you that was my choice. And now that I no longer am required to split that energy so much. I still need to split it some for my 16 year old. Um, I'm still helping him navigate the world, thankfully, and I love doing that. But now that it's not so energy intensive as it was when he was 10 or six or 12, you know, all those stages have different um, issues that we have to deal with. I can now focus on what I need to do with my business and myself. And so I am having more of those breakthroughs daily. They are definitely not coming daily, but they are more frequent than they used to be. I could go months and weeks and months before I had those kinds of moving forward breakthroughs. So the purpose of this episode, how can you adapt your morning routine so that you can move forward, so that you can tap into that place where everything is aligned, your peace and meditation, your physical being is, is aligned and your energy level is aligned. Your focus, your peace, your physical. How can you adapt every day to find that place when those three things come together and magic happens? That, my friends, is what your goal is in this whole power morning routine. It's not just to check off the box that you did it. Okay, I obtained peace. Great, there's the check mark there. Okay, I did openness. Yep, got that. I now know what I'm going to do today, and I'm going to figure out how to do this webinar, and I've, I've, I've gone through the steps in my mind. Okay, got openness. Check, checked off. Who, what, and why? Yep, I know who needs me. I know what three things I need to do, and I know why I'm doing them. Oh, check, check, check. All right, exercise. Yep, I checked that. And yes, reading. Okay, I did my 20 minutes, 15 minutes, 10 minutes, whatever it is. Okay, I've checked all the box. Boom, now go. As opposed to, I meditate, and I meditate specifically on a particular issue that I'm having. And through that meditation, I find that light that I'm looking for. I find a glimpse of it. And then I journal 
and I have openness about it and I get a little deeper on what I need to do with that. And then I go into the three things that I might need to do to make that happen. And I build on that and oh my goodness, I have a breakthrough. I see exactly where it is I need to be and what I need to do. And then I go exercise and it goes deeper. And you know when you're exercising and you're sweating and you are um, in that place of physical attaining a goal, it is a high. It's a euphoric high. And when all those things, when I did the meditation, I did the openness, I know what three things I need to do and I exercise and it doesn't have to be in that order. But if you do all three of those things and they are all three in relation to that thing that you understood in your meditation and you focus on that in all three of those states, magic happens. As opposed to you heard how I was talking the first time I did it when I was just trying to check off boxes, right? It, that's an energy level that is almost manic. Right? And I've been in that energy level before where it's been manic and I just have to check the boxes and I have to just go and then I have to go do and get breakfast done. And But that's not what we're talking about. It's not just checking off the boxes. Adapt and even if you only meditate for five or 10 minutes, but you actually get to that place where you're focused on what you need to do. And it might be take you five or 10 minutes. You might need 25 minutes to train your brain to get there. Okay. I don't know. I don't know what your brain is like. I don't know how you're able to focus, but that's what meditation and peace will help you do. It will help you. It'll train your brain to get rid of all the noise. And as entrepreneurs, we have a lot of noise. Entrepreneurs and parents, we have tons of noise going on around us. How can you shut that noise out so that you can actually listen to yourself? That is what peace is about. That's what peace and openness gets you to. Then you add exercise to that and you know the euphoria that you feel when you hit that point in exercise where you really push through the barrier of not wanting to do it and your body fighting you. And then you get to that place when you combine that place with the meditative place and the cognitive place of understanding what you meditated on, that, my friends, is what I'm talking about with adjusting your morning routine. Don't just check off the boxes. Actually dive deep. Cut out the noise. This is the time for you. We are parents. We take care of everyone else. But in this power morning routine, you need to tap into you. And sometimes, most times, that's the scariest place to be because it's much easier to take care of everyone else and use that as an excuse. And I know there are many of you listening to my voice right now where I was where you are. I was in that place of using those other, those, those external, um, what are they? They're, they're distractions using those ex external distractions as a reason why I can't reach the goals that I have. And I get it. And I didn't get this meditation as clearly as I get it now. So if you can find, excuse me, when you can find those few minutes of clarity where you block out the distractions, you block out the noise, you will see magic happen. And that's what Alex Charfin talks about. And that's what Tony Robbins talks about. Breaking those patterns, breaking that noise and shutting off your brain to it, shutting off your ears to it and looking inward. So however you need to adapt your morning routine to do that, how do you need to adapt your meditation? Do you need to change the place you meditate? Do you need to change the time you meditate? Do you need to change the tools that you use to meditate? do it. How do you need to adapt your openness, your visualization, your journaling? What do you need to change in what you write and what you um, contemplate? Do it. How do you need to change your exercise so that you reach that place where you know your body no longer fights you? And if your body's not fighting you and your exercise is just routine, then that's number one, the thing you need to change right? You know that. You need to change that. Otherwise, you don't see change. You don't see progress in your energy level in your body. 
I don't know any athletes who, who have a routine and they only stick with that and they never change it. In order to get better, you have to adapt what you do. If you're in a routine, you need to change it. How do you need to change your exercise so that you reach that level where your body's going, what the flip are you doing to me? <laughs> and then you change it and it adapts and you find a new level. That's what I mean by adapt your morning routine, adjust your morning routine so that you see progress, so that you're not just staying where you are and checking the boxes. All right, power parents, that's my preaching for the day. I hope, I hope there was some clarity in what I said to bring you to the place you need to be. In the show notes, um, you will see a link to uh, the billionaire code from Alex Charfin, and you will see a link to our wonderful not guru, <laughs> if you've seen his Netflix series. Uh, he's not our guru, right? Um, you will see a link to Tony Robbins as well. And as always, if you're listening to my voice, I can't even express how thankful I am how appreciative I am that you are here and that I have the opportunity to share the little bit that I have accomplished in this world with you. And I so hope you share yours with me as well. I gave you my email address. You can find me anywhere on social media, um, Parent Entrepreneur Power, Parent Entrepreneur Headquarters, HQ, Parent Entrepreneur Success. You know where to find me, right? And you know my latest gig is Messenger Funnels reach out, please. I would love to hear what you have to say. I would love to hear your ideas on specifically this episode and mindset because I have seen what it can do for people in businesses and families. And we aren't even talking about how you can change your mindset to be able to, to make your family successful. It, please start here and share with me how this has impacted you. I would love, I would love, so love to hear. All right. I hope you have a fantastic day and I hope you enjoy the journey. To get powered up for your day, just go to parentepower.com and listen to the over 200 episodes we have so far with amazing entrepreneurs just like you. It might just help you feel like a grown up again. 